Hey everyone, this is Mike from Mike's Do It Yourself. Today I want to show you how to restore your headlights. Now this is off of a 2009 Chevy Silverado, but this technique you can do for any kind of sun damage headlights. Now as far as all the materials that you're going to need, you're going to need some kind of cloths, some rubbing alcohol, you're going to need some sanding pads. Now this is off of Amazon. So you can get an assortment of sanding pads. You're going to need a grinding wheel that you can hook onto a drill. And this kit was about $10 on Amazon. And it comes with an assortment of pads that you can just attach with Velcro. And then the actual sandpaper that you're going to need out of the kit is a 2000 grit, a 1000 grit, and the 400 grit so the 400 is going to be a little rougher 1000 is going to be a little smoother and the 2000 is going to be really smooth and then you're going to need some kind of drill either cordless or corded yeah these work fine you're going to need a water solution and a spray bottle and then some kind of tape either painters tape or a regular tape and then you're also going to need the rubbing compound. Now this stuff works really well. It's Meguiar's uh, Plastic Cleaner and Polish. And then a ceramic coating is also needed. So all of these materials you can get for under about $50. Now we're going to start by putting the painter's tape around the headlight. And when you put the tape in, you want to put it underneath the painted edge all the way around here, all the way down around. And the reason for that is that we're gonna be grinding or sanding on this material. So you don't want it to hit the edge of your paint. So what I like to use is a two inch painter's tape, but you can overlap it and make it go out a little bit farther and just do that all the way around the headlight. And I'll go ahead and just overlap with one more strip of tape. Now for this next step, you'll want to take your 400 grit sandpaper and your bottle of water. And I usually put something underneath the headlight, say it's a towel or something to catch all the water that's going to come out or come down. And just lightly spray it. And then go ahead and lightly spray your sandpaper. And what this is called, this is called wet sanding. And this takes the oxidation off of the headlight. So you want to just lightly sand for about two minutes, depending on how oxidated your headlight is. And about every 15 seconds or so, 15 to 20 seconds, just go ahead and respray your headlight and your sandpaper. And you don't need to put a lot of pressure on it, just enough pressure to remove the oxidation. After we're done with that first initial sanding, we'll go ahead and wet this down really well and dry it off. Now, if you didn't get it all the way sanded down, 
you may want to repeat it with the 400 grit it should be pretty smooth at this point so it looks like there is some more scratches to get out here so if you need to repeat it go ahead just to get the tough oxidation off and then from there we will use the thousand grit and sand it again for two minutes And don't forget the edges on this step also. You make sure you get all your edges. Okay, and then after your two minutes are up, you want to go ahead and spray it really well and then dry it off. Now for the last sanding, we'll go ahead and use the thousand grit sandpaper. Now for this step, you'll want to spray quite often because the 2000 grit sandpaper can get clogged really easily. So you'll go ahead and do this again for two minutes. And then after your two minutes are up, you want to go ahead and spray it really well and then dry it off. Now on this next step, you're going to pour your rubbing compound onto your buffing pad and use your drill and just pour a good amount all over it. Now after cleaning off that rubbing compound, that is the finished product. And I went ahead and sprayed it with a little bit of the ceramic spray coating after I cleaned off the rubbing compound. And you can see it got most of the scratches off. Uh, you can repeat the process or what I would recommend I was using Meguiar's Plast-X plastic cleaner and polish. Uh, for that last step, 3M makes a rubbing compound that works better and it'll get these fine small scratches out better. So I would recommend using that. I just didn't have it on hand at the moment. But you would do the same thing. Put it on your rubbing pad. Or your buffing pad and go ahead and buff out those small scratches but this is a very good job without the 3m 
and it just needs a little bit of work to finish it off. And then here's this 3M rubbing compound that I recommended. This stuff works really well. I'll show you that is the after and this is the before. So this is what the other side looks like. You can see it's super hazy. Now here's the finished product of the other side. And just a couple quick notes. The better that you want it to look, the more scratches you want to get out at the beginning of the process. So with that 400 grit, get as many scratches out as you can. You know, if you have to go over the two minutes, uh, so be it. And same with the 1000 grit and the 2000 grit. Just get it as smooth as possible as you can and that way it'll increase the look of the final product. Now as far as durability of the finish, uh, if it oxidizes more, you won't need to sand. If you've got it really nice and smooth and it looks good and it starts to oxidize again after a while, all you need to do is use that rubbing compound, uh, smooth it out really well course tape around the edges first and you'll bring it back up to its nice shine that it has feel free to share like subscribe and comment thanks for watching this has been Mike for Mike's do-it-yourself and good luck on your next home or automotive project